Okay, how are y'all tonight? Great. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you why 7K is the greatest opportunity that exists in America to make the American dream come true once again. For you and all of the new people that join us over the next three years. Okay? Now, many of you have heard my story, so I won't go through that again. But in 1991, when I was introduced to network marketing by a fellow corporate executive that I worked with, and I thought he had flipped out of his brains, turned into a Mr. Mary Kay man. But I was looking for other opportunities because I needed a way out of the corporate life that totally consumed my life. I had no time for my family, my children, my wife. All I was doing was working and traveling around the world. So when I read the compensation plan of network marketing, virtually zero risk. Now, you need to understand, I had gone through almost two years of evaluating purchasing franchises and doing that on the side while I was still a corporate executive trying to get that way out. Now, the smallest franchise fee that I was looking at for a new one was about $35,000. That's just the upfront cost. That's not the operational cost. That's not the getting started cost. That's, you, you have to put up all this money before you have the first dollar bill come in. That's a ton of risk. Right? Well, just think about this now. Network marketing has been around since Shackley, not Amway, Shackley, first company. And you pay a little bit of money, you buy some products, you tell other people about it, and you can make an income because you shared some products that you like with somebody else. And they shared it with somebody else. And they shared it with somebody else. So you get the principle of leverage coming in. And so, you know, I didn't do Amway. I didn't do Shackley. I didn't do any of those things. Here I am in 1991. A chemical engineer, master's in business. And I was in the top 1.5% income bracket in America. So I made a lot of money, but I didn't have a lot of money. <laughs> Weird thing about that. And no life, no quality life. Now, my family had a quality life, but without me, I didn't have quality life. <laughs> so here's network marketing, and yeah, it has a stigma to it. It shouldn't have. But what is that stigma all about? That stigma is from traditional business not wanting you to get in network marketing. That's what it's about. <laughs> it's about those franchises not wanting you to do network marketing wants you to buy a franchise. It's about any other way of doing business because it's a true American dream. It literally is the American dream of the 21st century, especially now. And what the heck's wrong with these millennials? I was telling George, I think they're brain dead. Because they won't even give it time to look to make an informed business decision. That's crazy. You should be at least take time to get information to make a decision, you know? Because one day, they're going to be older. 
They're going to be facing retirement. <laughs> That's when they have learned. Or when they've lost it all through a couple of stock market crash or economic upheavals or turndowns in the globe, which will happen. We all know it does. You know. So, let me tell you the good news about tonight. That was, see, that was the bad news. Here's the good news. Okay. Now, I have an MBA and a chemical engineering degree, so I don't make moves rapidly. I study them. I evaluate them. That's what I was taught to do by education. And I, I was taught to, you know, analyze it. Calculate it. Double check your numbers. Make sure you're right before you leap. And so I did a Harvard MBA case study of the entire network marketing industry in 1991. I'm going to give you the results of that tonight. Very short, very and only the important elements, okay? But yes, there have been literally thousands of multi-level marketing companies or network marketing companies since the industry started. And a lot of them go out of business. Absolutely 100% true. They're taking all the risks, not the distributor. So that's okay. So, you know, I really don't hold it against somebody that's tried 10, 15 different network marketing companies because they were with the wrong company at the wrong time at the wrong place. That's all. And guess, guess what? There were network marketing companies that started out as network marketing companies, but they transitioned to become a regular company. Now, you know a lot of these in the telecommunications world. They started out network marketing, but trans transcended into a regular company. What well, the people in the network marketing company made a lot of money, but they didn't have a residual income for the rest of their life when the company transformed. But the network marketers created the marketplace for the company. Network marketing is nothing more than letting people do the television, radio, TV, newspaper advertising and getting paid for it. That a traditional company puts out all those mega bucks to do the advertising to get people to buy their products or services. That is pure and simple the only difference between a traditional company and a network marketing company. They pay you and me, distributors, associates, whatever you want to call us, a commission for doing their advertising and marketing. Okay? Now, to say network marketing doesn't work, one has to be completely stupid. Because what you're fighting is billion dollar companies with proven success. And there will not be a traditional company that will offset them because it would take too much investment, too much advertising to displace their customers with a lower priced product because it's a, it is a market. They have established a market. But look, if you're making even $500 a year and buying products that you really like and you want to use, even if somebody sold them to you cheaper, you still wouldn't buy it from them, the exact same product, because they're not going to pay you that $500 a year to make your products cheaper or basically get your products free, would you? Absolutely not. So see... Traditional companies aren't going to displace 
established, rooted network marketing companies. Even though maybe they have lost their patent positions, because you know how patent doesn't last forever, runs out. Just like in a drug business. <laughs> and anybody can make it. That's how your drug goes from $200 a month to $2 a month, right? Exactly. And I made pharmaceuticals, so I know about that too. <laughs> that was one of the markets I developed, pharmaceutical markets. So what do I hold this here? Well, you have companies like, you know, Amway, Herbalife, New Skin, Melaleuca. You know, these are companies, Enrich, Excel. Well, Excel was one of those companies trans transitioned, didn't it? <laughs> but Watkins, anybody remember Watkins? Yeah. Tupperware, Mary Kay, Avon. Well, I'm going to give you the end result of that Harvard MBA study. And I, I, I don't want to say this about me, but I want to say it about everybody that have viewed this. And you don't know anything about me. But I was the number one graduate in the MBA program at LSU. That meant I did pretty good about learning how to do case studies. I excelled in the corporate world at an extremely young age, making, like I said, 12 years I was in, what, the one and a half percent income bracket in America. So I let that speak for my knowledge about what I'm going to tell you. But it's absolutely 100% true. And I just encourage you to just do a little bit of research to try and prove that I'm wrong. That'd be okay, too. Okay? Because if you try to prove I'm wrong, that's good. Because you'll find out that I'm right. And it's to your benefit, not mine, yours. Okay? Now, I'm going to just get right to it. When do you want to join a network marketing company? Now, you can join a, an established company, got established products, and you can go along and you can make a little bit of money and you get good tax benefits. But let me tell you something. For a fact, you will not make a million dollars. You will not become a millionaire. And it's because of the market principle that you did not grow with that company. See, that's why I don't find that a person that tried 10 or 15 network marketing companies a bad thing. I think that person is looking for the right opportunity at the right time. And nobody really ever shared with him the right time, right product, right company, right products. Okay? Now, when I started network marketing in 1991, I didn't know all this stuff. Like I said, I did my, did my study just to validate that the network marketing industry and the companies were real. That's what I did that MBA study on. And I worked extremely hard part-time while I was still corporate executive. When I had no time, I made time. And my wife agreed to work with me and help me when I was back home, even. And in three years, we had developed about an income stream of maybe 35, 40% of what I was making in a corporate world. That's certainly not enough pay bills if you're li living on the edge. But in 94, I had an opportunity to go full-time, and I figured that if I could do this part-time, then if I did it full-time, I could accelerate this earning curve and make it quicker. 
the wrong decision. <laughs> because the industry of network marketing, just like the industry of technology, changed too. Compensation plans came along better. And this new animal, because I was really in a personal care, multi-level marketing company, established. It, by the time I left it in 1994, it became a billion-dollar company and started expanding globally. Well, that's what I thought was going to be my great opportunity because I knew a lot of people overseas. But, you know, it costs a lot of money when you're paying for the trips all by yourself, out of your own pocket. See, before I was on a total expense account, developing a market for another company. So I didn't really care, <laughs> you know. But when it comes out of your own pocket, that's when it really is business expense. How good are you, you know? Well, I got people in every one of those markets to be partners with me. But I wasn't there to give them the vision, the leadership. And it's pretty hard for when you're on the other side of the world to transmit that. And I saw that they all fizzled out within a year or two years. <laughs> that didn't work. So my dream of planting those seeds and really being part of those initial growth explosions in, in Belgium and England and Germany and Japan and Korea, Taiwan, Australia and New Zealand, which I had people in every one of those countries and I had commission jacks coming from them. But that was about it, just tiny little commission checks from those few people or a little more, okay? But along came this thing called a binary compensation plan. And literally, I lost half of my organization twice in a period of about eight months. And when I was trying to really hunker down and recruit, like I used to hire corp corporate people to work for us, marketing executive engineers, chemists, researchers, you know, I, I hired them. So I knew how to hire people and interview people, and I knew how to reach out and find them. And that's what I was doing when a person that I was prospecting dropped gold coins in my hand. And he said, this was the company product. And I asked, they ship you this product? Yep. Not a piece of paper and a promise to pay? Because see, there have been other gold coin companies other gold companies, silver companies, in the past of network marketing. I knew about them. They gave you a certificate, a promise to pay, but they never sent you the real product. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want to have anything to do with that. That's a scam from the beginning, okay? But they shipped you the product, and it was only $660 to get the whole product, and you got a tracking center, and you could make $2,200. Five on the left, five on the right, give you a step one check, Another five and five, you get another step two check. Another five and five, you get a step three check. And if you got a bonus, you got, you know, $2,200. And they erase everything, start all over it again next week. Doesn't matter how many sales you had on either side, but they erase everything in, in, in your, your account. And if you made mistakes in filling out the paperwork, <laughs> You better be. You better hope you had more than fifteen sales going on each side, because if you had fourteen and fifteen, you didn't get that twenty-two hundred dollars. You just got a step one and two check, and that was only nine hundred dollars. And the most you could make the next week was only six hundred dollars. So let me tell you, it, it, you could make money fast, but it was not an easy program. Okay, but it made money so much more rapidly these multi-level marketing things where you're buying product and you have so much volume and you got to qualify everybody else got to qualify and, whew. anyway i jumped i said i'm no dummy heck i was about to go bankrupt i was one hundred twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt at that time 
And I was really bemoaning it, talking to my wife. I hate like heck I might have to go back to work. To the just over broke world. No life. I was depressed every time I thought about that. Having to go get a job again. Working for people. I just didn't like working for bosses. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I knew it from the beginning. But I didn't do it right from the beginning. See, if you do it right from the very beginning, then it's pretty easy. You can grow up with your business. Not when you start making that kind of salary. It's hard to transition. <laughs> Unless you're ready to lose everything. And, and your family's going to stay with you. Okay. Well, anyway, I jumped. What did I, hey, let me tell you, what did I have to lose? I was either going to have to go back and get a job. I, I didn't have any problem. I knew I could get a job. But I was going to have to get a job. Or I can give one good fling at something that was eating my lunch, the binary compensation plan, but the product was gold and silver. Man, real money. I mean, I saw that nobody could lose anything. So why not do that deal, right? Now, any of you that may be looking at this because you're a prospect of someone's, you just think about what I just said. This company is gold and silver at a price you can afford. At the price that I was buying at, it was really inflated back then. But you could earn it. That was the key. Or you could earn commission checks to buy some. But it was very expensive. It was the high, some of the highest priced gold and silver in the marketplace. Okay? But had a binary plan. <laughs> and you can make a lot of money. <laughs> Telling people they can earn a guy. So if you're looking at this, just think about 7K. You have a membership. With your tracking center, you can earn $500 a week up to $7,000 a week. I was, remember, I was limited to $2,200 max on that tracking center. Here you make $7,000 a week. That's pretty powerful. Now, I created a training system and building system and working together system that I taught the people I personally sponsored, their people, and their people, and their people, and I t asked them to learn how to teach it to their people. And I was blessed to have built an organization of 70,000 people, the largest organization that any one individual built in that company, because if you looked at my tracking center, and you look to my left and to my right, you would see 70,000 people. And not one person above me ever placed one person either on my left or right the entire time I was in that company. Big difference in that 7K medals. See, if you want to make 7,000 a week, this is the one another business. It's the left and the right. If I want to make $7,000 a week, if you might consider I'm a hitter because I did that before, but I'm 72 now. I don't have, I don't have that burning desire like I used to have. <laughs> and I'm a little spoiled. I mean, I know I've got, it, I got enough money to last me the rest of my life. But, you know, for those of you that don't, if you have a little burning desire or if you want a you know, permanent paycheck for the rest of your life, this is for you. Because, see, if you want to make seven, if I wanted to make 7000 a week, I have to place people on the left of me and on the right of me, and they go at the bottom of my left and right. That means it's going to go under a whole lot of people. Even people above me have to place people below me on my left and right. Isn't that powerful? That's a one another business. So in the future, let's go out a year, two, three, four, five. You know how many people are going to be placed under you? I don't want you to just stop and think about that for just a second. Let your mind imagine if you had a 
Bob Reed or a Bob Reed-like person that got placed on your left. See, I know a person in my business, I personally sponsor his name, Woodrow Venable. He's in our business with us today. And he joined up with me the very first day in, in my gold business. And that happened to him. With a guy over in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And he didn't even know him from Shiola. But let me tell you, on that side, he, he never had to blink twice. He had more sales than he could keep up with. But he made more part-time than he made full-time in his job while he was getting gold and silver. That's pretty powerful now. That's why Woodrow's with us again. Why not? It's a no-brainer, okay? So, here we go. 7K medals, products gold and silver. You can... You can actually save gold and silver. Now, I'm not going to tell you the reasons why. You know you need, you know about the one-ounce silver coin, 1965, the one-ounce gold coin, the 1870s, the custom-made suit. And if you don't know about it, learn it. It's on the videos, okay? But everybody needs to have gold and silver. And now the average guy and gal has that opportunity to accumulate about 10 to 15% of their total net worth through this company when they can buy it at cost. Cost! Because they're a member. The Costco of gold and silver. That's what the membership's about. And then get the travel benefits. Powerful. Okay, now that's why 7K is very similar to what I did back then, but 50 15 times better because the compensation plan is so much better and easier. And now here's that MBA case study. Now it's going to talk about traditional companies and network marketing companies and why 7K is such a phenomenal opportunity right now. This is a timeline. Okay, it's kind of like a graph. Okay, this right here is time like months, years, okay? And this over here is dollars. Now, this is capitalization, or basically how much business the company does, okay? Now, every company at time zero starts out right here. <laughs> zero point, launch point, time to get started. Now, in network marketing versus traditional business, you have less total dollars that you invest at this particular time in the business to start it up versus traditional businesses. In traditional businesses, you're going to have to have headquarters, warehouse, distribution point, lots of employees, training of them. You are putting mega dollars, kind of like that franchise, if you're buying a franchise. You're putting lots of bucks. Big bucks into that company before you have the first dollar revenue coming in. Well, network marketing, the reason they start it is, number one, they're not going to have that marketing expense. And a lot of network marketing start on what we call the fly or the cuff, the seat of the pants. That's why a lot of them go out of business. They start in their relative's garage, their basement, Many network marketing companies started like that. In fact, some of the older ones, way back when, they actually started like that. One of those billion-dollar companies started in a, a personal care company I was with, started in the basement of a relative's house. Okay? But it grew, and it started in 1984. I joined when? 1991. So it was seven years old. So it was well established, had a headquarters, <laughs> had an operation, had distribution, had packaging, had many, you know, points of making their products, and they had that all well established by then. So I didn't go through the growing pains of that company. But what I did is I came in after what is called the momentum growth curve. 
I thought I was going to catch the internationalization growth curve. Well, what am I talking about? Right here, every company, traditional network marketing, goes through this little time period where they have very slow growth. Okay? Now, this is a critical time period here and here. This is called your first year. Right here. First year. Traditional businesses, network marketing companies, it doesn't matter. More than 90% of them fail right there. First year. Why? Money. <laughs> that slow growth. They don't have money to keep putting in. There's a thing in the MBA program, and I encourage you to look it up, called Gresham's Law. Don't spend good money chasing after bad. That succinctly says what it means. But most companies, if they last to their second year and they have an established headquarters distribution trained personnel, they have a 90% probability of making it the next year. I didn't say anything about after that. I said the next year. Okay? If they have a growth curve that's more than 10% per year on a per annum basis, they have a 99% probability of making it the next year. That's pretty mm -hmm. powerful. That means that they're starting to get some money to fund their business. Okay? Traditional or network marketing. Doesn't matter. Same thing. Now, here's the critical factor. That's between year two and year five. Okay? If a company hits, keeps going at this kind of little slow growth rate like this and it reaches year five and it has no more than a 20% growth at any particular time in those first five years. It has about a 70% chance of making it another five years. If it has greater than 20%, it has a 90% chance. If it has less than 10%, has a 90% chance of not making it the next five years. Okay? Now, right here is a real critical factor. There have been some companies that made it past that five year, but before their seventh year in business, they incurred what is called one of these momentum growth curves. Okay, now that momentum growth curve can last any time between six months and three years. Very seldom does it last past three years. The average is about 14 months for really solid companies. The companies that have succeeded, stayed in business, still in business today, okay? And so if you've never heard of the top 50 in network marketing, go look at them. Go check me out. The data is there. It's, it's not hidden. And the direct sales organization has all the statistics you ever want to see. <laughs> so I can tell you where to go if you really want to check it out. Okay, this is what's really important. Well, the company I was with, absolutely, went through a growth curve like this between their fifth year and the seventh year, and everybody in the world heard about it, but this is what happened to them afterwards, right there. You see that? And that's not too, too much growth. I call stable growth out here. After you, this is where a company establishes itself. Momentum growth. It's where it pushes out all competition to come after it. 
basically. It's the one that has the survivorship. Now, distributors that are in part of it in this time frame are the ones who win the most. Because why? They have the greatest probability of getting a solid foundation in their business, growing their business, spreading it out all over the place, chance for that multiplication to occur, and chances like Woodrow had, where this person joins from a person who joined from a person who joined from a person who joined from a person. They were so far down the list, when that person came in, he just saw volume every week. You see, he didn't know where it was coming from. Okay? You won't either. Okay? Now, so, this is called the formative stage of a business. This is called the growth curve of a stage of a business. And this is called the mature stage of the business. And guess what you have at the end of the mature stage? Guess what you have? The death of a company. Check out and see how many companies are in a Fortune 500 that was in a Fortune 500 at the beginning of this century and then last century and then last century. All companies die. Because of what? Technology. Everybody has differences. One. All kind of reasons, okay? But all companies die. That's a fact. But, you know, you have a company that lasts 50 to 150 years, that's pretty powerful, right? Yeah. Okay. Network marketing hadn't been around for a company to last 150 years yet. <laughs> cool news. <coughs> so if you were one of the ones, even with the very beginnings of these companies, you know, back in network marketing, you were in that founding years, you stuck through all those changes and all those flip-flops and all that junk and everything that happened with a company. And you just stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it. And now you've retired and you've got this income coming in for the rest of your life. Pretty doggone powerful, if you ask me. That's a true American dream. Yep. That means anybody can do it. If they have a desire, if they have the patience, if they have the perseverance, if they got the right company with the right products, at the right time. Now, I'm going to suggest to you that 7K Metals is a company with the right products, the right time, the right management. Because, see, here's the key about 7K Metals. You don't get to where you can sell gold and silver cones at dealer costs, one coin at a time, to anybody who wants to buy it. Starting off your shoestring. I mean, that should be very obvious to anybody that can think. So, 7K Metals had an office, trained staff, a professional CEO, not from network marketing, from the traditional world with the gold, and silver mining background had it. two entrepreneurs that were extremely wealthy and already knows what it means to make a billion dollars in several different industries and committed to make this a difference. And then some young, younger entrepreneurs that are well-experienced, well-knowledgeable, very good friends of the Partners of Wealth. So I would say it's probably one of the best funded concepts to begin a network marketing company ever in the history of network marketing, ever. 
So that means it has a solid foundation before it got off day one. And it's less than two years old right now. It's going through its growth curve. It's growing rapidly. It's about to set some records. And when they become knowledge, they become public, that's going to expen exponentiate this growth. So pay attention. Pay attention in the MS-70 world. Right now, they're the largest seller of the MS-70 minted coin in the world right now. The second largest single seller. They will be the largest, trust me. <laughs> and, and things are going to happen that you've never even thought about. Well, they also have the best compensation plan, the highest paying compensation plan. They're going to have the average associate making the highest amount of dollars for the same level of work than any other network marketing company in the history of network marketing. I mean, just think about it right now. Five on the left, five on the right. If indirect or direct, it doesn't matter if you did them or they did them. You only have to have one on the left, one on the right that you did, and you get a $500 check. Mm -hmm. Right there, that just puts you at the top. Right there. But if you're making $500 a week, every week, and you got, let's say, 20% of your organization making that, You'll be the highest paying network marketing company in the history of network marketing. But what about the ones that are making a thousand? What about the ones that are making thirty five hundred? What about the ones that are making two thousand? What about the ones that are making seven thousand a week? And they only do that by helping other people make those checks. And then what about international growth? It'd be a continuous thing because, see, the binary goes infinite levels. So somebody's got to join from somebody to join Mexico, to join. They got a mint in Mexico, you know. How about Canada? They got a mint in Canada. They got one in Australia. They got one in England. They got one in Austria. They got one in China. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's get to it. Let's look at this here. I'm going to give a projection. I like forecasting, too. Okay. I'm sorry I don't have all my percentages because I was looking this past week for my case study that I did back in 91 because I used to teach this. A couple of people know it. George knows it. Woodrow knows it. And I gave you all the percentages of the companies that made it through these time phases of the ones that are the top 300 in network marketing back then. And by the way, that changes every year. That changes every year of which companies are in the top 50. Uh, they, they start switching places. And, and you can tell a little bit about when they're switching places, what's happening to that company, okay? Well, this is what you call a life cycle of a business. And every business goes through it, okay? The foundation, the growth, the maturity. And the death. Okay? That's the stay, four stages of any business. Network marketing or any other. Now, uh, a lot of network marketing companies, I told you, meet their death where? In the first year, second year, and the third year. Nearly all the ones that die, die then. Now, most of the companies that are challenged, and all companies get challenged. Every company gets challenged. Why do companies get challenged? Well, all the other network marketing companies get jealous because <laughs> their people are leaving their company to join this company that's growing so fast, so they got to put the brakes on it some way by calling it a pyramid scam or whatever. Go through that challenge phase. You will make millions, okay? It will happen. It will happen. 
trust me, those gold coin companies out there, they're, they aren't going to like all this business going away from them. And they're spending these millions on, and hundreds of millions on advertising. Go through the challenge when it comes. You will survive it. Okay? Now, this is what I think will happen with 7K metals. I think by the time they have 5,000 active dis associates, 5,000. What's 5,000 active associates? That's people doing what? <clears throat> Sponsoring somebody or buying a coin of the month, right? Either or. Either one works. But if they're sponsoring somebody, this thing going to go, 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 go to the moon real fast. <laughs> because if they're buying just the coin of the month, how many points is that blowing up every month? 20. 10,000 points flowing up through those legs. How does it just flow up to one person? It flows up. It starts at 20 at the bottom and it accumulates as it goes up, right? Until it reaches 10,000 total. That month. Have you ever just sat and thought about how much you need in your organization just to get yourself a $500 check? Here you are. Here's your organization. And if you want to get a $500 check, how many points do you have to have in your counter every week? 500. 500. So that makes a cycle, right? Mm -hmm. So what if you wanted just a $500 check every month for the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means you have to have one active on your left, you personally sponsored, and one. It doesn't matter where they're at, right? Okay. And to do that, you need how many people 25. here? 25 people in your organization. If you put them there or somebody else put them there, you only need 25 people. On this side and 25 people on this side, that's 20 times that, that's 500 points. Well, you it come up part one week, come up part next week. At the end of the month, you got 500 points. What did you spend? $100 to get your what? Corner of the month. And what did you get for it? You didn't get some weight loss juice or some stinking cream or something else, right? You got a product of real value, didn't you? Okay. So, 25. That means if other people put them there and you don't. So, talk about this. What if you just started a club of let's accumulate money, let's band together as a family, and let's, let's start investing in ourselves? Some families are big enough just to do this with themselves before they go out and tell other people to help their family get wealthy. <laughs> Come on, let's think big. Why let other people tell you what you can and can't do and what is good to do and not good to do? What the heck do they know? They don't know anything, especially if they haven't looked at this, evaluated it. Who do you want to take advice from? A millionaire or broke people? <laughs> person that's experienced at this and knowledgeable at it? Or a person that's failed at it every time they tried? Hmm. That, no wonder they're sour on it. They failed at it, and they don't want you to succeed. You'll show them up. <laughs> Come on. Get real. Get with 7K. Change your life financially. Get wealthy. Help your family get wealthy. Provide a future. Provide a legacy for your children's children. That's what you need to do. Join us in 7K and have a time of your life on the beaches of the world.